Hello everyone, welcome back to Fast Track Revision Series of UGC Net Electronic Science. Okay, so in the previous two videos we have learned about uh, the basics of waveguide and the basics of rectangular waveguide. Okay, the terminology which we are uh, following in the case of rectangular waveguide. Okay, so now uh, we will learn about the characteristics characteristics of waveguide or characteristics of rectangular waveguide okay the characteristics or formulae of rectangular waveguide if you are first time to my channel please consider subscribing okay so the first character or first characteristics is cutoff frequency cutoff frequency so cutoff frequency fc is the first characteristic of rectangular waveguide so what is cutoff frequency so as i have told you waveguide is a high pass filter so it is a high pass filter so it is going to pass all the high frequencies so it will have a cutoff frequency here so this will be the pass band and this will be the stop band okay so this is representing you the cutoff frequency so how can you define that it is the frequency okay so it is the frequency above which above which an em wave an em wave can propagate can propagate through waveguide through waveguide okay so it is the frequency above which the em wave can propagate through a waveguide okay that means if uh, the frequency with which the wave traveling into the waveguide is greater than fc if the wave frequency of the electromagnetic wave which is traveling into the waveguide is greater than fc then the wave propagates to then wave propagates through waveguide okay so it is the minimum frequency that should be there for em wave okay so to propagate through that rectangular waveguide so if the frequency is less than fc wave cannot propagate wave cannot propagate through waveguide okay so the formula you have to remember this this we can prove but it is not required so 1 by 2 root mu epsilon into root of m by a whole square plus n by b whole square okay so this is in a medium for any medium so this is the formula for cutoff frequency so this is the first formula which you have to remember so for uh, free space for free space um, mu is equal to mu naught and epsilon is equal to epsilon naught so 1 by root of mu naught epsilon naught is equal to c so which is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second which is velocity of light so in free space what is the cutoff frequency for waveguide so fc is equal to c by 2 root of m by a whole square plus n by b whole square n by b whole square hertz okay so m and n are the half wave variations as i have told you it will be having te mode te mn mode or tm mn mode so in the problem if they are given with problem so here will be given with one of these modes one of these modes so if the te10 mode is given for you so if for example te10 mode is given for you so m is equal to 1 n is equal to 0 so that is how we have to take the values of m and n and a and b represents a represents the length of rectangular waveguide as i have already explained in your previous video so a represents the length of rectangular waveguide and b represents the height of wave rectangular waveguide generally 
just remember this I forgot to tell there so A is always greater than B A is normally greater than B okay so just remember what is cutoff frequency cutoff frequency is the frequency above which EM wave can propagate through waveguide and this is the formula okay second cutoff wavelength cutoff wavelength so it will be lambda c okay so lambda is equal to c by f so whatever we have if a frequency is least so this is the least frequency so if the frequency is least so lambda must be highest so reverse so definition will also have the reverse meaning so it is the wavelength it is the wavelength of waveguide okay so it is the wavelength of waveguide below which below which wave can propagate through waveguide wave can propagate through wave guide okay so above which here right so above here and below here because of this reciprocal below which so if uh, lambda is less than lambda c if lambda is less than v lambda c then wave can propagate wave can propagate through wave guide if lambda is greater than lambda c wave cannot propagate wave cannot propagate okay so for free space then what is the value of lambda c so lambda c is equal to c by f c by fc become so if you take this fc towards this side so what will be c by fc it will be 2 by root of m by a whole square plus n by b whole square okay meters here so this is the formula for lambda c so cut off wavelength okay